Alright guys, this is BNG Clutch and I'm going to give you guys a drift tutorial. Just to um if you guys aren't that strong on drifting and whatnot, um how to improve yourself and make yourself a better how to make yourself a better drifter. So first of all, um when I'm drifting I like to hold down X instead of using the right analog to move. So I'm gonna hold down X like this. And yeah, that's what you're gonna use to move. And then just square to reverse. And then um, when you're holding down X, you're gonna wanna press R1. That's gonna be your brakes, but it's gonna be like drifting your car. And you're gonna use your F analog, your left analog to um, steer your car, kinda get it to the direction you want. So it's gonna kinda be like something like that when you um, move the left analog in the direction you kind of want to drift it'll take a few tries you'll have to get used to it and all cars are different for everybody everybody has their car that they're best at and yeah so um, you need to experiment and try to find my best car is the Eclipse and the Acura so or the Mitsubishi Eclipse and the Acura Integra but that's just me and um, then you're gonna kind of want to link them together like so do that what I just showed you then do another one and then another one but for tutorial purposes I'm not going to this is on an easy difficulty for tutorial purposes and then so it's kind of just like linking it together so you do what I showed you the first time then you're gonna do that and then you're going to do that and you wanna you wanna if you want really good points and get really good drifts you're gonna wanna get your car in the outside lane for bonus points it'll give you a better drift I'll try to show you that here um, well see how at the beginning of that I was drifting really close to the uh, the barrier right there That'll give you bonus points when you're actually doing a bit better. Yeah, see? Um, you can't do that or you'll lose all your points on your drift. See, if I were to drift and do that, yeah, you don't want to do that because you'll lose all your points. If you like, do as much as touch the barrier, you'll lose all your points for your drift. So, I'm just going to drift here and then go back to the other area and try to get a better drift yeah here we go I'm fairly good with the this car I hit superbs pretty much every try colossals sometimes and then outrageous you know and if y'all are wanting to know the main drift types that you get and level to how good your drift is it's gonna be good drift then it's gonna be great drift and then after great drift it's gonna be a clock no after great drift it's superb and then after superb it's going to be a colossal drift and if you can be colossal you're going to get an outrageous drift now I don't know if there's anything after outrageous I've yet to see it but if that is the case, see colossal right there. Oh, I wanted to try to show you guys um, outrageous, but that's mainly all it really is. Drifting is actually very fairly simple, guys. You just need to find that right car of yours, drift at the perfect. That's one thing you're gonna have to get used to with tracks. You want to be able to know your track. You have to know that perfect area to drift to be able to make it through. Like right here. It's about the perfect position well not quite I messed up there but one of the better positions to be to go all the way through this little pathway and hit a fairly nice decent drift you're gonna want to try to memorize that spot so you can consistently get good drifts see I'm gonna try to see how many superbs I can get in a row alright there's one you gotta get keep that consistency to hit those drifts 
so then you're gonna go back through again oh crap but you see what I'm mostly saying just do that find your car get your consistency down with your, the drifting for that car and then once you get that down you're you're pretty much you're good for the most part and then you're gonna have to practice not hitting the barrier and one thing it's kind of a helpful tip you're gonna want to like get your speed down because most cars they're really fast and they're really hard to drift with so you want to go to their um, the settings for inside the car well not settings but you know the packages and stuff um, the upgrades and everything you want to get that perfect and that's just a tip it may help you it does I don't really care for it but that's about it guys so as you can see I get an average of about a hundred thousand to 200,000 I usually hit 200,000 but I didn't this time because it's just really a tutorial um, if you want to see my statistics um, that's my best drift score for this and uh, my longest drift my longest drift now standing is about nine seconds I'm trying to beat it and if I do I want to be able to um, have it recorded and show you guys that drift but um, yeah that's about it um, I hope you guys um, like this drift tutorial and I hope it helped you guys get a little better at drifting and understand it better and maybe make you a better drifter in the near future. Um, just keep checking out BNG. We're going to be getting out nice drift montages or driftages for you guys. And um, we just we want to start something new, kind of original that most people aren't do get out of the uh, sniping quick scoping idea get into something newer but um yeah so keep watching us we're gonna try to give you guys great content me and clash um we have a driftage coming out called clutch and clash um looking forward to that being out for you guys to see um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this so um please um you know like it comment subscribe Tell your friends about this video, you know, if they have trouble with drifting. So, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, this is BNG Clutch. Peace.